That is so cool. All right, guys, check out the new Bronco. This is gonna be a Badlands. This thing looks absolutely bad. I love this color. It's gonna be a soft top. And this is a demo model. I am fortunate to be at Century 4 here in Mount Airy, and they actually gave me the keys to it. Here they are. Oop, that way. That's the key for the new Bronco. And I'm just gonna show you guys this around it really quickly. I'm not gonna drive it today, unfortunately, because it's not tagged yet. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek at it. Really quickly, be sure to subscribe to JB Reviews and make sure you have those bell notifications on. And be sure to check out my other channel, Attainable Exotic Cars. Now let's get back to the video. And just to give you perspective, there are quite a few trim levels. There is a base model. They also have what's called a big bend. They have a black diamond. They also have an outer banks. A Badlands, which is this model here. They have a wild track. And then a first edition. So all in all, this Badlands is going to start around $42,000 for a two-door and about $44,590 for a four-door. But I can tell that this is slightly bigger than a Wrangler. Just by a little bit, not by much. It definitely looks wider and it has like a really like menacing stance too. And I like the fact that it has a soft top as well. And check out the front bumper. I mean, this has like a lot of, you know, stance in terms of it being a, a true off-roader. Has independent front suspension, so you're gonna get better wheel articulation. And it looks like it's using Billistine shocks as well. Looks like it's gonna have LED headlights and running lights. It's high and low beam and I like how they spelled out Bronco in white too looks really good now under the hood it does show that this has a 2.3 liter engine and this is going to be good for 300 horsepower 325 pound feet of torque so that's a lot of power I mean this is going to be an EcoBoost so it is going to be turbocharged and it is available with a 7 speed manual transmission if you'd like now that 7 speed manual is only available with this 2.3 and there is an option of 10 speed which is going to be about $1595 and there is a 2.7 liter which is $1895 which comes standard with the 10 speed that's going to be good for 330 horsepower 415 pound feet of torque and as I mentioned it's going to come standard with that 10 speed transmission. Now one thing you can instantly tell is like that retro styling. Check out your side fender here, how it kind of goes up. And I just like how everything just kind of flows together. So this does have a max load of 150 pounds. And then look at your lines in the hood too. Looks really menacing. You have that plastic fender flare on the side. These are gonna be 35 tires. Like they're bead lock. These are gonna be BF good riches as well. Let's see here. So you have an LT285 70, 17. Now, I like all the aluminum that they're using on the suspension. And check this out too, when you open the door, the mirrors are not connected. I like that they did that. Such a cool, like, design. So those mirrors are kind of connected to this little plastic trim where the wind wiper cowls are right here. And this looks really good though. Pretty decent ground clearance as well. And it's just gonna have the blind spot monitoring system. And I mean, in the comment section, would you prefer that hard top or the soft top? I don't really mind just having the soft top because you can take this off and kind of just go to the beach and just have an open area. And I love the way that they designed the tail lights as well. They do provide a class two receiving hitch. And your backup camera is mounted where the uh, spare tire is. And they give you a full size. And then check out your Bronco emblem. They do have the smart key system for the back as well. And it is assisted with a shock. And it looks like you'd have to undo all the sides of this too to get this off, so. This is pretty much all the space you have. And you have a small storage under the floor with a jack. You do have a power seat on the driver's side. 
I like these floor mats too. They kind of go up some to give you some protection for the carpet. I would almost order mine without carpet if it's a possibility. You have a really wide seat too. And I love the stitching on the seats. It matches the accents on the interior like right there on your air vent controls. And stepping inside is pretty easy. It doesn't sit too high. You have push button start. And I like how they cover up these buttons too. They're pretty much protected from like water and stuff like that. And you have a pretty large screen for your gauges. And I mean, this is like, this is ridiculous. I mean, that's huge. I don't think I've ever seen a screen that big before in a car. Now if I put it in reverse, you have a huge uh, 360 camera view and for the reverse, and you can actually zoom in if you need to hook up to a trailer as well. They have other menus too. Have a wide range view that takes up the entire screen. That is, that's next level right there. And then they have kind of like a, a different range like to kind of see on the edges here. And I mean, I would like to see maybe, you know, maybe some off-road cameras as well. But and overall, I mean, I'm, I'm really, pleased for like the overall quality it's a high quality really good resolution and I think they did a great job with this you do have a telescoping steering wheel I'm going to use these arrows and I'm going to push the back button here and this shows you like a quick menu too so you have your gauges we got to look at gauges right we got to look at the gauges so here are your gauges on the right hand side I'm gonna go back again I'm gonna show you your off-road status and this is just gonna show you your powertrain, like what gear, like if you're in four wheel drive or in two wheel drive, your pitch and roll if you are doing some rock climbing. And if we go down, it just shows you the pitch and roll by itself. Power distribution is probably gonna show you the powertrain by itself. Yeah, that's pretty much what that is. Tire pressure, if you hit, okay. You could just use the arrows and just keep going down as well. I was just kind of showing you everything. It has your gauge summary, turbo boost, oil temperature, transmission temperature, battery voltage, and it takes you back to the top as well. So really nice, clean layout. I mean, we can get lost in here. So, I mean, we're just gonna kind of just go through a few things, but here's your navigation. You can add a phone, but this has pretty much everything you would ever want. So you have your driver assistance, so your pre-collision lane, keep assist, rear view cameras, everything's in one spot. Love that they did that too. This, yeah, it's really good. So you hit the arrow to go back. Zone lighting to disable auto lamps while using zone lighting, select the override button. So you can do that as well. And let's go ahead and kind of go through these. So you have towing, you know, connection checklist and trailer sway control. And then you have your owner's manual too. Now, if you'd like, you can push the arrow on the side here. And then this will change to the radio. If you push it again, then it has a full screen for navigation. I don't see that you can get rid of this indefinitely though, but, but yeah, you can do zone lighting. There's just so many different things about this. Let's, let's click on off-road status over here. So if you click on off-road status, it looks like it changes it on this screen as well as it shows it to you here so yeah this, this is pretty much well thought out i mean like i said let's just kind of keep moving on now just below the screen they have like your camera you can actually pop that button on right now you can see the frontal camera right here and you do have auto stop start and you have some of your radio controls you have dual climate control i like that they give it to you outside of the screen and you can pretty much control everything too you have dual climate control all that good stuff and let's go ahead and click the camera again and it takes you back to the full screen so if you want to zoom that full screen out like this there was an arrow there i just saw it just now so there you go but two usbs down below hopefully you guys can see that and it does have a cover for that as well charging station for the, your phone and it looks like they have like a little plaque here for this one where it's built at. Okay. And yeah, look at your shifter. You can shift this manually as well. 
on the side and then here's for your full drive system too and you have different driving modes as well like there's like a little thing that slides on the side of it and let's just kind of go through them normal eco slippery mud ruts sand baja rock crawl and yeah that's pretty much it so you it doesn't go all the way back around so you have to go clockwise or counterclockwise to get what you want so if you go counterclockwise that gives you normal and then on the other side was the last one yeah right now we're in two wheel drive you have four high um four wheel drive automatic and then four low if you get stuck two cup holders grab handle on the side this is well thought out like i don't know if i like it better than a wrangler but i would say that I would probably choose this over the Wrangler because it's the newest and latest and greatest thing. Up top, it looks like you can disconnect that sway bar, lock the front differential and the rear differential. And this is for trail turn assist. So you have to be in four low or four high. So what it'll do is it'll probably lock one of the back wheels. That way it helps with like turning. And then you can turn off the traction control and you have your caution lights above too. In front of your differential locks and your sway bar disconnect you do have two usbs up top here too probably just to keep stuff from getting wet down here like if things you know if water gets in here you can put things up top i like that they do that and check out your auxiliary switches they kind of set up the way they do on the uh, hd trucks you do have led lights as well inside the interior and yeah everything's just done really well this does have home link system and it looks like it's pretty easy to undo the top for this as well. Just like this, you have two latches on the side. Pretty much how the Wrangler does it. Just really easy and really quick to do. Looks like you only have one spot on the side here for storage. And your window controls are actually right here. And you have automatic up and down for front and rear too. I like that. And you can lock the windows as well if you like. Mirror controls are right here. And this is like a vinyl material. Decent sized storage in here too. They give you a power plug. No USBs though. And this is how the center console is supposed to be set up. It has like a little storage tray. And it's pretty deep too as well. Now back as you guys can see, there's no trim running around the windows. So that's like a retro thing as well. And getting in and out of the back seat is pretty easy. I mean, I'm 6'2". I mean, I could put the seat up a few more inches and have enough space. The seat is smaller back here, but there's ample space for two adults for sure and a kid. You do have those window controls in the center, two USBs, and you do have an actual power plug out back as well. Now the doors, they're pretty barren because they put all the power controls in the center here. But all in all, uh, good headroom. I can see that this top would get kind of hot inside of here. You do have a 60-40 bench seat out back as well. This seat looks like it just kind of drops down. Like that. And it just opens up the rear to give you space. And I like that they give you those LED lights with a 12 volt power plug. Two speakers on the back too as well. And on that side. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This may be important to some people, but your gross axle weight rating out front is going to be 3,170 pounds. The rear gross axle weight rating is going to be 3,070. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,120 pounds. And all in all, this has a payload capacity of 1,057 pounds too. So if you want to put some extra equipment on this thing, you should have some room to do so with your passengers. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to check out Century Ford and Mount Airy and let them know you saw this video. And be sure to check out their inventory. See you in the next video.